his head. I'm just concerned. Ah! What, was what, was what was that? What was that? Did you hear that? Know, yeah. Did you hear that? Dear Diary, upon arrival to these small towns, I'm always left wondering what keeps drawing me back. It's these small towns that appear to vanish from existence. These small towns I have an infatuation with. It's the chase and the enchantment of speaking with the dead. Welcome to Chloride, Arizona, population 271, but that's only counting the living. Chloride was founded in 1860. Chloride mines were first discovered in the 1840s. Prospectors hoped to make it big, but it wouldn't be a good ghost story without a massacre. There was a true war that was fought here. Between 1865 and 1870, the Wallapai Native Americans would spend five long years at war in an attempt to defend their own land. The Arizona gold rush of the mid-1800s would welcome miners and settlers to the land. But this land had already been claimed. The Wallapai and Yavapai tribes had already been here for generations. But eventually, the tribes agreed to meet with the settlers for territory negotiations. And it was during these negotiations that the settlers made a huge mistake. Chief Anasa, the Yavapai's leader, was violently murdered. Chief Leavleaf would lead the tribes into battle in the name of avenging Chief Anasa, preparing for battle. The Wallapai were in arms with nearly 300 of their own warriors. The Yavapai would also help them fight, but unfortunately, they were now facing hundreds of U.S. Army soldiers. Oftentimes, the prospectors and the miners, they were contracted through the government. The government hired these contractors to go and find mines and find gold. Word traveled fast. When the government found out that a miner's negotiation turned into a tribal chief's murder, and don't think that because the Native Americans were outnumbered that it meant their demise. The United States Army attempted a peace treaty by contracting the Mojave tribe to help declare peace. The truth was, the tribes were winning. They were raiding and killing the soldiers by catching them on the roads before they actually made it to the tribe's people. Eventually, agreements were made and the tribes called off all further raids on soldiers. The next territory meeting would be 10 months later. The Wallapai chiefs were called in to meet with the settlers to re-establish territory negotiations. But history has a thing of repeating itself. And this time during the meeting, the settlers murdered Chief Yuma of the Wallapai, thus breaking the peace treaty, and the war started all over again. This time, war was bloodier, and the smell of obliteration was in the air. The government wanted those mines, and they were willing to do anything they had to do to get them, even if that meant exterminating an entire Native American tribe. The U.S. Army sent the 8th Cavalry and the 14th Infantry to raid the Wallapai land. Bloodshed, burning down their homes and ranches. The Wallapai had just been taken over and removed from their own land by the United States government. A lethal outbreak of dysteria and whooping cough would force the tribes to surrender. And like all other Native tribes, they were forced off of their land into what we know today as reservations. Imagine it. They take your land. They take your home. Your livestock. They take your livelihood. They murder your people. And they force you to become part of a civilization who destroyed you. By the 1930s, these mines were the richest mines in the Mojave County, which produced nearly six and a half million dollars in ore alone. But with miners and mining comes a whole other mound of problems, like sickness, accidents, explosions, and even death. In 1944, the cost of labor had risen from the Great Depression, and the cost of importing and exporting minerals was outrageous. The end of World War II was nearing, 
thus shutting down the town of Chloride, where Chloride had risen with such population booming in the thousands. It had now fallen, yet again, to a population of only hundreds. Since 1944 until today, Chloride is just considered another ghost town, erased off the memory of a map. Or was this the curse of the Wallapai? In the 1960s, hippies moved in. A man named Roy Purcell made his home in the mountains east of the town of Chloride. Roy painted beautiful, vibrant murals in retrospect of the history and what had happened in the little town of Chloride. He had hoped that the vibrant colors would bring tourists and a sense of peace to the town. Roy's murals are on the rock side of the mines. He went back to repaint them on the 40th anniversary of their existence. Today, downtown Chloride consists of 11 stores, and they all close at about 5 p.m. There isn't even a grocery store, just a convenience store. If you need to make a major grocery trip, you'll find yourself having to drive about 30 minutes south to Kingman, Arizona. Dead miners, bloodshed natives and soldiers, murdered chiefs, disease and decay. What more could you ask for in a haunted town? We found out one of the Native American chiefs that was murdered, that he's buried here. I'm Cherokee and I'm, I'm registered with my tribe and so it's only right for me to uh, pay my respects. Oh, there's a marker. Does that look like there's that many grave slots to you guys? No. There's no way there's that many. Okay, so let's like look for like a Native American, right? Right. My grandmother's name was Fishing Hawk Bear, right? Mm -hmm. So there would be native names. So let's see if there's even any that are on this roster. I doubt it. They just bury new people over the, the native graves. Long, low, the peak. What's about to happen next is bone chilling. And then white maybe, but... There they are again. Oh my god. Coyotes are getting closer again. We caught a DVP, or a direct voice phenomena. Listen. We think it's a male saying, can you turn that down? You be the judge. They literally sweep the entire history of it completely under the grave, right. like quite literally. We decide to make haste and try to finish our rounds in the graveyard before we get attacked by a rabid pack of coyotes, especially since they seem to be following us. We don't know this at the time, but later this day, we'll realize they're still following us all the way up until night. What does this one single say? Grave. Not a single grave. The longer I can't find the native graves, the angrier I get. When we first started filming in the graveyard, there was no wind. And all of a sudden you're going to notice, the longer we're looking for the native graves, all of a sudden the wind picks up out of nowhere. I don't know if I was just mad because we couldn't find the native graves, or if I was actually feeling the natives' anger for the way that they were treated and the way that they've been treated. statue with the wings clipped. I mean, they're unrested as hell. Of course they're mad. It's crazy. It's like erasing history off of the book. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. How are their bodies? Yeah, Where are they? Gone. It's like they just don't want to talk about it. I mean, these are unmarked, so I would assume it's like right here. To the chief that's out here somewhere, 
You don't have to guard your land anymore, you're free to go. Since I'm Native American, when I was little, my grandmother would tell me stories. Stories about certain signs to watch for. Signs like communication. Us here on this planet Earth and the spirit realm. Usually the sound of a bird calling. The bird symbolizes a communicator between earthbound souls and the spirit realm. What do you think this noise is? To me it sounds like the call of a crow. And there were no crows around us. To the chief that's out here somewhere, you don't have to guard your land anymore, you're free to go. You shouldn't be trapped here anymore. You don't need to stay in this place. I'm going to replay this and enhance it. Was this crow the spirit of the Wallapai chief answering me, letting me know that it's okay to let go? We realized this whole time we've been standing right in front of one of the original graves. It's only marked by old stones and it's a grave that's pretty much turned to trash. They probably use this tree as some sort of a marker to remember who was buried here. Visiting the graveyard was really sad and we decided we needed to go home, reset, and get ready for the lockdown. But of course, it wouldn't be a GGD lockdown without some sort of adventure awaiting us. Hey girl. Okay, I'm gonna get out though. Shit. See, what people don't know about all of us in the car is all of us in our free time rescue animals. So, of course, we all freaked out when we saw a loose dog and we had to save it. We don't know where she's from. No idea what we're doing. She doesn't understand why we're gonna rescue this dog. She's like, don't these dogs just roam? What are you trying to do? Don't they roam? Do they roam? I mean, that's a chihuahua. That's true. Oh, mommy. It's okay. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, you're moving? Whoa, whoa. Let me get ahead, let me get ahead. Alright, go, go now. Run up. <laughs> if anything, I'll chase them home. Oh, it's going to the main trash. Do you want me to run out? Okay, I'm dragging. Oh my god, Blake. So I might have accidentally hit the brake a little too hard, and I may have accidentally almost killed Blake, but he was fine. There, there she is, right there, right there. Oh, oh, oh! Shit! He did fall. Oh, shit. Where did it go? Where did she go? Where did she go? She's right there, she's right there. Oh shit! Is that <gasps> the house? If it, it's gonna get attacked. Is that the house? No, it's not. <clears throat> so we didn't rescue the dog. We tried, but turns out he was going to meet a couple of his friends up the street. <laughs> Bye, babies. I don't know why these people are chasing me. Jasper, George, these people are chasing me. <laughs> this is gonna turn into just like rescuing animals. I feel like this is like Cloverfield, but yeah, chloride edition. All right, enough play. Let's get back to work. We get to investigate the end, the end that was built for transit travels and temporary stay. It still sits right behind the railroad stop. 
It was built more than a hundred years ago for the thousands of people who took this railroad train to Chloride. Whether they were staying in town for work or just passing through, right here, this building, is where hundreds of crimes have taken place. Crimes like robbery, theft, prostitution, gambling, and even murder. This was the homestead for thousands of commuters. Records of this location don't exist, because at the height of Chloride's existence, the town was only considered a pit stop between two major cities, which means there is no city hall, no town hall, no police station, no ambulances, and it still operates the same this current day. We're staying the night to see what eternal residents call chloride home. You know, it's, there's a couple of floorboards. Have you guys stepped on them? Where they literally feel like they're sinking? Yeah, they're moving. Don't shift your weight. Because look, I just go like this and I went down like four inches and I... We know that this house is over 100 years old. We know that we are literally standing on top of a mine. It's considered a town or a city. I started out when, like, in 1860, the town of Chloride was founded. Chloride, Arizona was founded as a prominent mining mining town during its time. You know, there were 75 mines. 75 mines? 75 mines in here, yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. that's a lot. Yeah. But coming back here, it's not huge. It's about... Did we say it was about 500, 600 square feet? Yeah. It's 400 square feet total? It's that small, okay. Um, this room is one of the active rooms. So we were told the reason this room was decorated the way it is is this is more of a masculine male energy. Once again, going back to the town, there's a lot of veterans, so I'm assuming the owners of this property clearly somehow have had contact with the energy because this is very patriotic. Throughout this property in particular, the owners have actually dug up different artifacts. You think they're probably related to what we think is 1860s. Yes. Which are like the horseshoes. Yeah, and they're all over. They're all, all over. over. All over. Which we also think that something has... We, we feel predominant, I guess, within this, this house. Because like last night we were feeling maybe more of a calming energy. And I feel like now they know that we're getting ready to communicate. And it's sort of intense to say the least, right? It is. Yeah, the energy is very electric right now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, so here we go. We're in Chloride. Welcome to Chloride, Arizona. We're about to start our investigation. Wish us luck. We've had a lot of strange things happening, including cameras getting dropped off of counters. So I'm excited to see what happens this evening. As we were setting up night vision cameras, we started to hear the coyotes again. Except this time they were right outside the door. But here's the audio. We're here at the veterans. Actually, we need a camera in each veteran. I'm going to call this up. Do you hear that noise? Well, there's coyotes. Uh, where does this place go? Guys, what's going on? I thought we were setting up the camera. under the car. Oh my god, the door's open. I can't get to the door. Close the door. After a grueling 12 minutes of coyotes sitting on the porch, we knew we were in for quite a night. Let the investigation begin. As we're walking in, getting ready to investigate, all of a sudden, our ovulus goes off. Now the ovulus is a piece of paranormal equipment and it basically has a dictionary in it. The way it's used is that energy, or ghosts, can manipulate the electromagnetic fields and create a dictionary word to communicate to us. This is what it said. A fair. Oh my god, it's so cold in here. Grab the mel meter. Grab the mel meter. We had everything charged before the investigation, and the second we walked in, all of our batteries drained. Usually this happens when ghosts or energies are attempting to drain energy to be able to use it to manifest. 63.6. 63.6. Okay, come yeah. in here. Woo! This battery, by the way, is dead. We've just captured another DVP, which is a direct voice phenomena. It's a male. Can you hear what he's saying? Night vision, 4K that are hooked up currently. So my name's Crystal. These are my friends, Kat and Chanel. 
we heard there has been some really traumatic stuff happen in this city. And disease. Can you make a noise just so we know you're here? Holy crap, there was a huge ball of light that flew right into the camera. Really? Holy crap, there was a huge ball of light that flew. Huge. I'm wondering if we should use the um, EMF there. Yeah, you have it here. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Is anyone in uh, home base playing music? No? Do you guys hear that? Yeah. Is it like singing or is it from like a different time? It sounds like it's instruments. Instruments playing. Well I would even turn it on. Well I would even turn it on. Well I would even turn it on. It sounded like a radio was playing with instruments but we didn't catch anything on audio other than this little noise. People have explained high levels of electromagnetic fields as feeling like spider webs or cobwebs. Watch as the balls of energy are around me right before I call it out. I got that feeling of like spider webs on my face. Did you? Yeah. Maybe like so on my... Pulsing orb moved from like cat's head to From cat to me? No. So multiple uh, crew members last night heard footsteps basically throughout the house and all around the house, um, causing crew members to not be able to sleep. So we know that they're definitely pro predominant enough, strong enough, to be able to make noises. If you touch the bear, the bear will light up. Is there like a motherly figure in here, like a woman? Did you caretake at this house? Oh my god, how's that? Again, do you need your thing? It's not bad enough for need it yet. Now Chanel senses something, and then she calls it out immediately. It's the same orbs that were surrounding me. I feel like I just keep having to look behind me. Really? Yeah. I feel like I just keep having to look behind me. Really? Yeah. I feel like I just keep having to look behind me. Really? Yeah. What is so strange? Yeah, so it does it just start? At the it just starts. Does yeah. this happen to you at home? No, at all. Unless I'm like my roommate, you know, That's girlfriend brings over a dog or something. Yeah. You know, like something really specific. Yeah. But no, it's like, so when we left and we came back, when we came back, it was like <laughs> 20 minutes in and then all of a sudden they started in, you know. Yeah. We have tons of orbs going everywhere. Did you guys say you said, like felt something? I said that I kept Chanel, feeling you know, like I have to look behind me. Like something's behind you? Yeah. Um, we're gonna try what, like EMF bear? What do you guys have? Yeah, you have the EMF bear here, and then we have a digital recorder as well. Okay. I feel like nervous for some reason. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know why. I feel just like. Chanel turns around because she saw the flash of light out of the corner of her eye. You were right, Chanel. It's behind you. I feel like that feeling of like something is about to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. It was like that earlier, too. You touch the bear, the bear will light up. Is there like a motherly figure in here, like a woman? Did you caretake at this house? I know this house was used for the railroad workers. There's a railroad station nearby uh, where the Santa Fe Railroad came in and out. But this morning, I was woken up by a touch on my knee. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> There's literally so many orbs throughout this investigation that we don't even have time to show all of them. That was a white apparition just left cat. 
Was where? that you? Is that is that cat's attachment or is that might be the energy in here? I'm not sure. Like a full bodied apparition? Like a white apparition. And you've got that recording? When we got back from the investigation to start editing the footage, the raw clip of this from the DVR actually didn't exist. But we remembered that night that we had taken cell phone video footage of it. This is that footage. I don't know if we're seeing an apparition try to manifest, or if this is like some sort of portal that seems to be manifesting. My energy literally feels so ha happy right now. Holy crap. Hey! Oh, is that you? Oh, I just got Oh, there you go. <laughs> she just validated that she was making Chanel dizzy. Can you stop blinking for a second? Yeah. Can you stop blinking for a second? Yeah. Can you stop blinking for a second? Thank you. This is an EMF bear, which has the same REM functions as a millimeter. Oh, I feel that now. It's happy though. Yeah. You know what I it's mean? Like, I feel it's, it's like it. It's light, and then it's like yeah. It's an it's an intense energy. There she is. The camera is blurry, and I literally can't see anything through the viewfinder. Yeah, you know I mean? like, I feel it's I cannot get this on here. I think it's. I'm sure it's you did an amazing job. 64.4. When I set down the millimeter, <laughs> the temperature awesome. drops a couple of degrees. Mm -hmm. It's claimed that spiritual energy that you can cause fluctuations of temperature in an environment. At the same time, we start getting responses through the EMF bear. Can you touch the antenna on this device to let us know that you're here? You're doing a really great job so far. The next piece of evidence that we capture is pretty remarkable. Watch what happens after Kat asks it to touch the antenna. It looks like an extension of energy, like maybe an arm, swiftly moves over the millimeter as if it's trying to make it go off, like Kat asked. That was weird. It looked like there was a rod that went across this camera lens. And I thought it was Kat's hand, but it wasn't. Well, if she's no longer touching the bear, she could be maybe trying to get energy to touch the antenna. You want me to move it a little bit so it's easier? It's just amazing because my I'm still feeling extreme. It's like an adrenaline rush almost. Mm -hmm. It's just like complete you know, happiness. Yeah. Did you love this place? Did you live here? The temperature just nearby? starts to slightly drop again. Your energy is really positive. Did you hear that sigh? Mm -hmm. No, it was not. Someone just sigh over here? Oh, freak me out. Is that you? Is this 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 still the female? Holy crap. Did you hear that? Yep. It was in the back, wasn't it? Yeah. Which room do you think that came from? I don't know someone think it came from the bathroom. Like the cabinet. Someone go grab the, um, the obvious Apollo man. It's you over there. We heard someone in here. Is there multiple people in here? Multiple spirits? My name's Crystal. My friends Kat and Chanel are with me. I'm trying to figure out which room it came from. Let's just be quiet for one second. It's his uncle. I 
feel like I feel pissed. Kiss. I feel like it came from this room. A fair. It says earthen? Earthen. Like elemental? Um, we're still at 63.2. No fluctuations. Put the ovules on the bed. Rewind. Down. Down. Alright, I'm gonna put the, this ovulus here right on the bed. This is just another way for you to be able to communicate with us. Yeah, if you go up to the ovulus and allow it to feel what energy you want to speak, we'll hear what you have to say. Loving. Yeah, your energy is very loving. Um, Anything. Wait, see, this <laughs> is, to like. This is behind the scenes ghost hunting. Yeah. You realize people have to do this every yep, shoot, you know what I mean? Every time. Temperature went up. We're at 63.9. I'm going to hold this just to see. Loving. So I think you're male. It feels male in here. Does it to you? Mm-hmm. Like the community now that resides here is about, what, she said 350 people? She said the 200. Woman, now it's 200. Because she said a bunch of people have died recently. Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, but a majority of them are. Veterans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does make you wonder, though, if that's related to the bloodshed that happened here. Maybe. What is it that draws them here? Harvest. Harvest. I wonder if that's why the owner decorated this room with all American flags. Could be. Almost like they felt like that. Are you on this side? Can you touch my hand if you're in here? This. Did you hear that? Did you? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Are you annoyed with us? We don't want you to be annoyed. Sorry. How long have you been here? How long have you? When's the last year that you remember? An orb flies into Cat as she's complaining about her heart rhythm. You know what I mean. Think about it. Does everything look the same mm. as when they pass? You know what mm. I mean? Like, there's so many theories you can ask. What about the ovulus? Should we move it a little bit further? Sometimes they get scared to come up to you, you know, really? with the equipment. Yeah. So, you know, it's like energy clashing, right? Like, right, right, right. Imagine, you know, we're a stranger in their home, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Would you feel the same? You know, True. like you didn't know you were dead or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Activity dies down when Kat and I are investigating, so I decided to get the SLS and go work with Chanel. The SLS cam uses a similar technology and software to the Xbox cam. Oh, it froze. Did it? Hold up. It's frozen. It's frozen. It's completely frozen. Hey, look, it's completely frozen. Oh, there's a thing that popped up on it. That's the thing. That's the thing. A message. Mm-hmm. If only Chanel and I would have known that this was kind of a precursor warning for what was about to happen look, next. Look. Take in mind, it takes a lot for me to get What's scared. What's that mean? I, I'm not one that gets scared often since I've been doing this the longest out of anyone here. <gasps> look, look, look. In front of me. We saw you. The device I'm holding, if you stand in front of us, will be able to actually see you. Hey! Whoa! Um, that's a tall person, I would say. Probably a male. Can we you show up again? There he is. Yeah. Can you wave at us with one hand? The figure appears to wave at us with his right hand. Like this? Can you do you like this? Come on. There he is, there he is. What is that? It's like some jig. Are you jiggy. <laughs> See, that's like, he's getting down. Holy shit, did you hear that? What, what, what? Bathroom. <gasps> I swear. There's I another one. There's another one. Look, look, do you see it? It's in the bathroom. Are right. you in the bathroom? We see you. Can you make 
make a noise? Chanel and I didn't know that they were leading us in here to virtually scare the crap out of us. I can't see his head. He just keeps floating up by... Earlier, while testing equipment, the name Joseph came through before we started filming. We thought maybe this was Joseph. Is this Joseph who's standing in front of me? Can you reach out to my hand? Let's see. Oh my god, is that for real? Look at that. He's reaching out to my hand. You see it? You see it? Yep. That's my hand right here. Nice to meet you in spirit form. Is anyone else in here? We saw like a little figure in the bathroom. Why can't we see his head? I'm just concerned. <laughs> what, was what, was what was that? What was that? What was that? Did you hear I that? Know, yeah. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? What? Did you hear that? It sounded like a hiss. Which? We originally thought we heard a hiss, but we knew there was movement. We see his head. I'm just concerned. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was that? Did you hear that? Know, yeah. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? What? Did you hear that? It sounded like a hiss. Which? Okay, okay. It's weird. Hear that? Did you guys hear that? What? Did you hear that? It sounded like a hiss. Which? Okay, okay. It's weird. It's the, it's the curtain. Before we started filming, we lifted the shower curtains all the way up so that they were hanging above. Just in case we wanted to get a shot of the bathroom, we thought that the curtains would be ugly. So we specifically know that these curtains were hanging completely up. Oh my god. It's down. Holy crap. It's wicked cool. The entire curtain's down. Is someone angry? I thought we were all- Is someone angry? I thought we were all- Is someone angry? I thought we were all- Is someone angry? I thought we were all cool. I thought everything was cool. I'm just trying to see. Hold on. Let me see. Holy shit. That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, that was up there too. Let me like, see. that was wrapped around, like, this- bar thing right here. It was wrapped completely around it. So the whole swear. Like, curtain fell? Yeah. This one's still up though. Where is it at? On the floor? No, like it's just, it just fell off of the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, it's still hooked up and everything, but... The, he's back there. By the window. Behind me? By the window. Did you do that to scare us? It worked. Oh, there he is, there he is. He's in the shower. He's in the shower. You see him? Joseph, yeah. is it you? What was that? Did you it feel that? Me. Are you sure? The it's... whole floorboard moved. Did it? You didn't feel that? No. I bounced. I literally bounced. No, I didn't. Where'd you go? Did you go in this room? Oh, I saw an orb oh, wait, wait, wait. go into your head. After all the movement that we had, I decided to send Chanel in by herself to sit in the bathtub. Enjoy a few minutes of Remember, this inn was probably used for bad things like prostitution, and it probably even served as a brothel. Do you not like the curtains being up there? Send. Think. What are you thinking? Think. What are you 
think? Think. What were you thinking? I love watching Chanel's footage when she investigates because it's almost like she senses something before it happens. Watch her movement as this ball of light moves towards her. Is there anything else you want to say before I leave? Electric. Electric. Are you going to mess with our cameras again? 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 Can you turn on the water? Anything else you want to say? Shower now. Remember earlier when Chanel asked them to turn the water on? We're about to get a class A EVP full sentence. Wait for it. Oh, it's it's drippy. It's dripping in here. The shower thing is dripping. Yeah. It's like actually dripping. Did you turn the water on? Alright, I'm gonna get out because this is getting wet. I'm getting out now. Nice talking to you. Um. 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 After Chanel gets out of the bathtub, she comes out and we go to turn one of the lights on, and the light bulb explodes. We decided to regroup with Chanel and maybe try a PSB7 spirit box session which is basically a radio frequency that moves between radio stations extremely fast, creating white noise. You can hear the spirits speak through the white noise in real time. The three of us decided to sit down and appear to be less intimidating. Sometimes when you're standing around spirits, they're afraid to come up to you and actually communicate. 
There you go. That's not What's your name? Joseph? Joseph? Yeah, were you a minor? Are you okay with me staying in your room? Are you married to Carol? No. No. Were you Native American? Were you Native American? Were you Native American? Could have been Mojave as well. Were you Mojave? Uh, Should that be no? I don't I think the energies are competing. Wait, it's a set on the Oculus. Compete. Yeah. Yeah. Was that it? Like Ola? Ola? Is it Ola? It's not like it. Utah. 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 Are there crypto characters from different worlds here? Uh, no. What was that? That was sounding like a no. Do you like music? Very much. Very much. Wow. You said very much. I like to use it too. Oh my god. That was so awesome. Do you not like talking about the mime? Something go? What's it going on? It's in the back of my hair. I keep brushing it down. Are you standing behind Cat and I? Why? <gasps> Why? Why? Are you standing behind Cat and I? Why? Are you standing behind Cat and I? Why? <gasps> <laughs> We're just wondering. <laughs> that was so predominant. Yeah. Why? Why? Is it no? Why? 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 Question? You shouldn't? Not that. So question. Yeah. Question. I heard question. Question? Do you know you're dead? Do you not want to cross over? No. 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 Ouch. I oh my god. My upper back here, and I jolted before because I felt the pain back here. It's like someone went like whoop like that. Mine's like a, I got stabbed like in the kidney or something. Is that how you die? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many spirits are here right now? Can you give us a number? Eighteen. Fourteen? Eighteen? I heard, I heard eighteen. Fourteen or eighteen? Holy crap. I wasn't expecting that number. I was expecting like four. <laughs> it's an old town though. Yeah, that's true. Table all of a sudden feels like it's like vibrating. Really? Yeah. Not just the spirit box. Is it the 1800s where you are? Here, I didn't catch it. It's west. Yeah. If you think about it though, even back to like not just miners getting hurt, but miners' wives getting injured, they probably wouldn't even. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. The wives may have not even made it out of birth. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's sad. I can't imagine dying in a mining accident. That has to be so traumatic. It's scary. Being underground and with no oxygen or even being injured. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my wow. god. Thank you. Communicating that. Is that what happened to you? Probably. It's almost like they don't want to talk about it. Right. A lot of them probably weren't ready to die though. Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah. Could be. Well, how do you plan a death? I mean, right, it, is right. it possible to plan a death? Sure. I mean, just to them, it would have been another day at work. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Go to the hospital? 
Fever. 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 Go so the they were two. So they could be maybe be living something. Or disease. Disease, disease. disease happened. There's dysentery, and there was um, tuberculosis. Well, maybe. Cough as well. We're just trying to understand where you are. I know we have lots of weird questions and repetitive questions. It's just, we can't see you here. You're on a different realm or dimension than we are. Oh, geez. Yeah. Oh, so like he's shocked we can't see yeah, him. Yeah, right. So we just said, we can't see you and he's like, oh, geez, like he didn't know. Yeah. So could that could be why maybe they're, they're stuck, is that they had unfinished business. Or if you had a traumatic quick death and yeah, you didn't, and you you didn't die. realize it. Mm -hmm. So just to forward the information to you, all of you. Oh, you're like they're <laughs> waiting. Oh, oh. I have heard, and I don't know if this is accurate, but if you're wanting to cross over, your own free will is in charge of it. Which means in order to cross over and see your family again, you have to call for angels, archangels, or your spirit guides to come help you. And they will help you cross over. Because I wouldn't want to be stuck here forever. Your families are probably waiting for you. Really? Did you hear that? Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. Really? Did you hear that? Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. Really? Did you hear that? Oh my god, I'm getting emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear that? It was very oh quiet. My God. Really? really? But you have to it's your own free will to ask to cross over to see them. Unfortunately, I think you've been stuck in like a time warp almost. Yeah. You're really? you're allowed to leave. I can't imagine what it would be like to be dead, not know it. And in your mind, there's just a bunch of strangers that won't get out of your house. Right, right, right. So much confusion. Oh my mm -hmm. god, and anger. Right, I'm wondering if that was the energy you were feeling. You know? That's probably why we were maybe meant to be here, mm -hmm. was to shed some... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that you, Carol? <laughs> I feel bad we're the ones that have to break the news. I feel like we're going silent now. Yes. Maybe mm -hmm. they're shocked. Yeah. I feel like they're like, yeah, well, you know what you said? Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Wow. You probably, unfortunately, had a very shocking, last minute, unexpected death that you don't remember, which is why we can't see you. When it happened, you may have been in denial of when it happened. It might explain a lot, though, if you think about it. Yes. yes. Well, it's not happening. You know, you know what it really weird to it is almost kind of like yep. Yeah. And then when you said west, you're right. west type of you right. know what I mean? Yeah. Like yep, yep. We're gonna go ahead and shut the spirit box off now. So if there's anything you have left to say, please step forward and say it. 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 You're awesome. Oh my god. You're awesome. You're awesome. We really appreciate you saying that. <laughs> you imagine being stuck for that long or not knowing it? I can't imagine. Wow. Oh my god. I can't even imagine being stuck. You're welcome. I just hope that you find peace. But you're not, you know, you're not stuck here. You're allowed to go, and I'm sure your family misses you. I'm sure they want to see you. You have to ask for guidance and help. Okay? Did you hear me? Yes. Thank you so much for helping us and even changing us and communicating. We appreciate you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Wow. That was crazy. I'm I'm crying.
crying and Chanel is crying currently. Wow. Just because you like, you know, you imagine that to be like your family, you know? Right. Like you imagine that to be like, you know, we've all had family that's crossed over and like, of course we assume that they go or we want them, you know, to go. But, you know, think about these people, like, there was 14 or 18, whatever number they said. Mm -hmm. 18, yeah. How many family members are there waiting on the other side for them that are wondering where they've been and what they're doing and why they haven't come through? Yep. And it's literally just been, like, an eternity they've been stuck. I can't even imagine what that feels like. No. So to conclude my diary entry, you know, we always go into these small towns thinking that maybe we'll be able to change it somehow. Maybe we'll be able to bring awareness to the towns and to the dead and to respect the dead. But at the end of the day, the towns are the ones that change us. Until next time, this is Crystal signing off. Are you okay? Yes! <laughs>